Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Brotato. Doing suggestions from the comment section. Today's is from Aria Dorbs, which is a six wand build, which I'm very curious about. It's a weapon that I don't really utilize or play around with or experiment with because it's it's so strange because burning does not stack in this game so it doesn't really make a lot of sense to get six wands but i'm gonna do it anyway let's gonna we're gonna go in we're gonna find out what we can do with it a lot of attack speed could be uh really interesting that is what's suggested is to go all in on kind of attack speed elemental damage obviously take i'm gonna take survivability and things as i need it because guess what we're probably going to need it wizard's always been kind of a, a strange character where they have issues oh god do i take minus luck right away not as my very first thing um but yeah it's it's a strange weapon as a result and the mage is a strange character because since here's the thing since burning doesn't stack, at least as far as I'm aware and as far as I've experimented, burning does not stack at all. The passive that is attacks have a 25% chance to deal 10 times 3 burning damage becomes irrelevant. And it also means that maybe we would just be better off like stacking a weapon that does good damage. And we also coincidentally have the ability to cause burn. Uh, you know, the obvious thing would be take Taser. Taser is very good. It is the way to solve a lot of potential issues. Ooh, that's a speed down in mutation. I'm not going to take that yet. I'm going to just stack my wands for now. See what we can do with that. Stack the wands, stack the wands, stack the wands. Uh, wands, attack speed. Maybe a little bit of life steal. Because uh, we're going to be doing lots of instances of damage. Obviously, if something like eye surgery shows up, I'm going to take it. That item is elusive to me on every single run that I've ever needed it and shows up all the time on every run where it's completely useless and stupid. I don't get it. I don't think I don't know if I've ever had eyes surgery, which is your burning deals damage twice as fast. I don't know if I've ever had it on a run where I'm going burning, <laughs> you know, I don't know what's up with it. Obviously, that's nothing. And there's an argument for that. I don't know if fire can crit. The wand can crit because it does have a projectile that does damage, but. Okay, piercing sounds kind of fun. Does it work? I assume. Oh, it totally does. Thank God. That's huge. That, uh, okay, that's huge. Because we don't care about the damage. The damage that gets downgraded by having piercing. Uh, doesn't matter. Couldn't couldn't care less. Where it goes from one down to one. So now we have a good way to like permeate the backline a little bit without burn propagation via like uh, what is it? S the snake. I, I, you know, the one item in the entire game that is a snake. That one. I can't remember what it's, the technical name is called, but piercing is doing work right now. Huge work. But oh, picking up. Picking up stuff is uh, quite tough. Give me the armor. One. I'm going to skip mutation for now. I, I guess I'll skip past boiling water for now, too. Lock for another one. We may be in a better spot if we, like, just combine our ones. And that's the sort of... That's what's weird, you know? Okay. Hmm. The knockback. Wait. I... Hmm. Hmm. The knockback is not bad on this. That might be the reason to have more wands than uh, than one. Obviously, it's like... It's proving to be extra spicy because... Obviously, we are shooting like six and they're all... Or five, I guess. Do we have... Do we have six yet? Ah, whatever. We're shooting five or six. I can't remember if we got our, our full set or not. I think we did. Uh, and they all have piercing, which is really, really nice. I will take boiling water when it's down between the two there. I'm going to take some, some regen. Thank you. Okay, 22 burning damage. 22 times four burning damage. Here's the issue. I don't really care about the times four. They're always going to have burn. <laughs> like... Also, 
mutation gives us speed down? Like, I don't know if I can go for that. There's a... Elemental builds are weird in Brotato. They're kind of that awkward middle ground where it's like, everybody knows guns are busted and melee, uh, melee runs are bad on average. Like, unless you're going knives or unless you get really lucky or you're abusing uh, like a specific other character's quirk. It's not that it, you can't win with it, because you can win with you can win with anything. We won literally yesterday with uh, pacifist going for murder. You know, like you can win in any way, like kind of, more or less. If you get really, 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 really lucky, it doesn't mean it's good. It doesn't mean it's easy to get the. And when I say easy, I mean easy to get the luck to pull off blank. Uh, Obviously, runs with less survivability are technically slightly harder because you run the risk of getting moitered. But I'm telling you what. I'll tell you what. <sighs> Please, I need to speed up. Thank you. <laughs> Fine. I need HP to go with that. That's huge. I don't know about the crit damage. I don't know. I don't know if burn can crit. I've heard people say yes, but I've also never seen it with my eyes, and I've not once heard the critical sound effect today, but I also don't have crit chance, so uh, that would do it. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. It's also an interesting thing worth noting uh, that the wand does do damage. It does technically do damage with the bullet itself. Like the kind of fireball. Oh, oh god, the dashy boys. Not good for us. So, there's probably a run there, if I were to wager a guess. There's probably a run there. Oh boy. The reason to have six wands versus four is what I'm kind of wondering right now. Like, six, six wands versus four that are all upgraded. And all applying a higher burn amount. Oh, God, there's so much in the middle, I can't get to it. Oh, that's the wizard's problem right there. That is the wizard problem incarnate. It's like, how do I get towards where, I, where I'm killing? Ah, tough choice. Uh, so the build is go for uh, elemental damage and attack speed. I think I have to go with... I think I have to go with the epic one, right? There we go, we get both. Great. Uh, baby with a beard is very good. Piercing damage is so irrelevant to me. Flamethrower is cool, but it's not the build today. You know what, game? I, I tell you what, game. 26 times 4, like, I would rather... Maybe I'd rather just combine them. be less likely that we have the bad burn on them. It fires a little bit faster. I feel like it's... I feel like having six is the answer, actually. Not because of DPS reasons. Like, obviously, for DPS reasons, it's kind of irrelevant to have six. Burning doesn't stack. Causes a big problem. Uh, but the knockback. That's... I think that's the... What I'm finding today, that's the reason why it's not the worst idea to have six. That being said, I can't really imagine how well this would function without piercing. Like, cards on the table, that's what's carrying us right now. Like, if you can't tell, uh, hopefully now you can see and <laughs> analyze it with the, without burn propagation from snake or whatever the heck it's called. I, I, snake item. I don't know, man. How would we kill the backline? Like, it, it would be very, very, very rough. Piercing is huge. If I could get another one, I'd be so happy. There, here's the thing. Scared Sausage makes no sense. What build takes Scared Sausage? An elemental build that isn't the wizard. That makes no sense. It, unless burn stacks, which it doesn't seem to... Maybe I'm wrong, but it really does not seem to. I'm, I just, I don't know, man. What's the point there? Give me something better. 
Ooh. I'm gonna get some uh, huge, huge HP ups there. Okay. Interesting. Hunting trophy. I always like want to go for it. Small magazine works fine. I'd be happy to go for it. I was. See, that's what I'm kind of talking about. Is like, it's sort of irrelevant. They they are all gonna just die in roughly the same amount of time. I do like how many fireballs are getting shot out. It's giving us like a weirdly high amount of knockback, but. Unless we get Ricochet, unless we get uh, more stacks of piercing, unless we get uh, eyes surgery. We we have a timer on us. That means we are going to flat out just die at a certain point. I think, right? Like, the enemy's HP is going to scale up to where they are not dying nearly as fast from our burn, but it's working well today? Like, I'm, I'm, I don't know, like, almost more than the pacifist build, I'm kind of surprised at how effective this is. And it really does just come down to the piercing. Like, that, that's what it comes down to. I, I'm supposed to go attack speed. Now it's the armor, sure. Snake? I mean, can I get both? Can I get both? Right. Great, 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 great. Elemental damage, 23. Our burn is doing 26 times 4. I could combine go for an epic, but I just don't really know. I think I think having 6 and having them attack really, 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 really fast with crazy knockback is, is good enough. And truth be told, this is not... This is not like a high luck run. I would consider this to be a probably reliable build. Just like up to this point, at least reliable to get to wave 9, I, I bet you this is not an uncommon occurrence for a build with this focus, which is blowing my mind. And, like I'm saying, I, I don't think it's particularly that lucky. Like, you could have three piercing upgrades by now, you know? You could have three piercing upgrades by now easily, like, not easily, but like, it wouldn't be that weird to think that you could. I, I, I risked it all there. I risked it all. Oh my god, I really risked it all at the end there. Hmm, nah. Speed? If you reroll when there's two there, I feel... Oh, there we go. I feel like it doesn't always give you the goods afterwards. Okay, uh, bandana, and I actually think I could probably take warrior helmet. I'm at, I'm at positive X speed. I can't remember how much. I don't even know if we need burn propagation. This is weird. What a weird run. Again, eye surgery would uh, kind of be huge. It's really like, that's the thing that puts this run over the top from being good to easy. I would consider this to be strong, but not, like, brain-off strong, you know? I played a lot of brain-off strong runs by now to know that, like, for me to say a, a build is particularly in the top tier of Brotato, it's got to it's gotta reach a pretty stupid threshold. There's some, some runs where you just don't have to do anything. <laughs> like, you know? This is good, though. This is very, very good. Very, very good. Is what, yeah, that, that's that's what it is. Strong, nice, good. I'll take some life steal. Bandana. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna wait on that. Big eye surgery. All right, we're, we're at least gonna get it for the final wave. And, okay, see, this is what I'm saying. The knockback, the surprising knockback of this weapon is the thing that is wowing me. It's actually solving these fools in a way I did not think was necessarily going to be this 
doable this easy. Okay, that being said, we're getting a little swarmed, and our regen situation is uh, shaky at best. It's not the worst, but it's it's shaky. I just can't get in to get all the freaking money without risking everything. That's what's really tough with this character. Just getting in. Oh, but wow. Okay. All right. Free. Uh, more regen? I'll take some more regen. Sure. Eyes surgery. I'm just, I'm just really happy that we got that. Disappointment. <laughs> I can't. What a uh, horrendous shop. Other than eye surgery, that is a horrendous shop. But uh, what is the penalty? Is it range? 12 range. Uh, so I am, at, I am at negative 12 range. Like, that's noteworthy. That is absolutely noteworthy, but it's obviously worth it for dealing damage twice as quick. That being said, the lack of anything else, like, fantastic happening in that shop has me a bit sketched out. Dodge all of the HP pickups. Dodge all the HP pickups. Thankfully, like, not having, um, alien, t whoop, alien tongue kind of good in this weird specific scenario. Because I can get all the HP on the ground and then pick it up when I need it. Instead of taking it when I don't. Which is what usually seems to show up. Show up. Holy crap. See, there we go again. We know exactly where there is some HP on the ground. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. Oh my god. What is this? There's HP over there on the right. 15. Oh god. Not like this. Not like this. HP over there. Wow, this is impressive. Uh, I stand by the fact that I don't think that was a particularly lucky version of that build either. Like we got the three, uh, we got the three bandanas. Uh, but here's the thing: did we luck out, quote unquote, luck out and get eye surgery? Yeah, we did in the end. Uh, but here's the thing: you gotta know, like, if we got eye surgery about like right here, like. You know, we got another rare item, so obviously it's possible to get eye surgery right here. It's possible to get it earlier, but... Uh, we would have killed way faster, a.k.a. we would have gotten a lot more money. We would have gotten a lot more money. We would have been able to buy a lot more stuff. Uh, we only had one epic wand. We had a common wand still. Uh, three bandanas, no, no ricochet. Uh, we didn't have sad tomato. We had, like, good but not great elemental damage. Like, it all just... It all worked, but yeah, I would not say that that is a particularly lucky version. Now let's try the Gatling gun. <laughs> let's try the Gatling gun build. And we're going to have to probably play a different character to make that work. Um, let's see. Who is the best character for that? I mean, obviously the one-armed is interesting for it, but I want... Uh, I mean, I'm thinking Ranger. I'm thinking Ranger is going to be the... Uh, Interesting idea for that. I don't know. I actually don't know if it particularly matters, because I don't know if it... Yeah, it can crit. It can crit. Alright, yeah, whatever. Okay, Ranger it is. Obviously, we've got guns right now. This is... The the, the wizard went, went mad. We'll have to try and get that to work. Uh, I'm very curious. I don't know if this is possible. I don't know what the stat line of the the wand is uh we're probably gonna have to do some like recycling until we get to a shop or whatever that has it um never mind obviously we sell because we don't want anything else to show up in the shop so it does two two on crit we need flat rain it's got to be range damage right i mean we take that still I mean, hunting trophy? Okay, this is going to be weird. Uh, first waves are going to be a little sketchy. Thankfully, these guys only have two HP. So, like, it doesn't matter that we don't really do damage. 
Yeah, look at them. Look at them crits. We can also finally see if Burn can crit. Like, this will be the day to find out. Oh, my God. This is so bad right now, though. Obviously. Believe it or not, this is a terrible, terrible, terrible run right now. Oh, boy. We also only have 5 HP. Ugly Tooth. Good. I think we have to roll until we get flat, right? Ah, screw it. Yeah, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. Not not right now. Not in this run. Oof. Oof. I mean, with the extra attack speed and everything, though, like, it'll be a relatively quick firing ranged weapon with good knockback. I think it in the world that we get, like, fantastic flat range damage, I, I guess I don't see it being terrible. That being said, we are playing as a character who has got no survivability, and we don't do very well for killing. So we need survivability. Oh god, that was that was going to be death. I, I, I tell you what, that's just that's no. Here, I'm gonna pause and I'll start into the first shop. Okay, there we go. I got plus one flat range damage from the uh, stat, and then I got a wand. So, hey, I don't know. Might be something. I don't know if I'm going to... Like, <laughs> I'm not, like, <laughs> going to win now or something. I don't know. I don't only put up wins, you know? So I'm not... <laughs> like, you've seen me lose enough for, for me to not need to tell you that. Uh, but I just didn't want to have you sit through the the waves just in case I made it to the shop and it was just another, like, shop that I, I re-rolled through all of it and I never even found the wand or something stupid like that. But obviously, this is a much better start. I'm not going to say it's good, but I am curious. I'll admit, I'm very, very curious. Come on, we got to do better than that. Sure. Okay. Right now, it's just kind of a bad SMG run. But the SMGs have knockback. Yeah, that's what's impressing me. The, the attack speed... That's the weird sleeper hit of this weapon. Attack speed, relatively fine attack speed plus good knockback or fine knockback. Weird, weird, weird. Oop. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Crit percent, oh no, that would have been death. I only have five health, I need speed. Got to need a need for speed. Flat range damage. Huge. That, see, that was good. I only have five health, though, still. Ooh. I... <laughs> put... I don't know. Put some piercing on this? We got to run. <laughs> like, this is not bad. This is not bad. We also happen to have burning, but who cares? Huh. I don't know. I don't know, man. We're doing weird science here today, that is for sure. Should have probably left that HP on the ground. I might get hit by a stray bullet. Okay, we got the one over here. Should I choose to take damage? A hunting trophy obviously would be very, very neat. Got a, got a non-zero amount of crit. Huge. I think it's going to be hard to get flat range damage. Oh, I like metal detector a lot, but I think I roll... I mean, snake, don't care. Okay, so it gets some... Um... Faster fire rate. Like, pretty noticeably faster fire rate, actually. All things considered. And a little bit extra range. Obviously, it does more burning. Yada, 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 whatever. No. This... No, don't tell me this is a standstill kill build. Okay. 
It, it is not far from it. If I had piercing... If I had piercing... That being said, if I get piercing on this run versus the other one, um, it's not nearly... Whoop, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm fine. I'm dead. I'm fine. I'm dead. I'm fine. What? I have five health, dude. Anything kills me. <laughs> the bullet. Oh, the bullet. I don't know. Maybe um, maybe we can try this with a character that's not the frailest thing on Earth. Because, like, obviously Ranger's busted and you can get around the fact that he's so frail on a normal run. Uh, for obvious reasons. Like, you are playing guns. Guns are very, very strong. Uh, what else could really work here? I think, honestly, the answer is well-rounded. Like, obviously, I could play one-armed. I could play one-armed. I'll save that for another day. But, hey. Should I stop? Hey, well, we already have the one. I guess there's no, no doubt that we are getting this. But, yeah, just having 15 health and not dying in one hit... I think is going to be crucial for a build that's a little bit experimental. And by a little bit experimental, I mean we are trying to you turn a freaking wand into a gun. <laughs> uh, oh, reroll one was cheap. Okay. This is range damage, right? Yeah. Minus five range. I mean, I don't like that it's the minus five range. Like, that's rough. But I think we need to not be picky and take any range damage that we can find because this is a stupid idea. <laughs> I think this is its such a dumb idea that we have to go for it. We can't take percentage damage, really. We pretty much have to go flat. Like, we can take percentage later once we've already kind of accrued a good basis of flat range damage. But until then, it's just, like, it's so stupid. It's such a useless stat. And I, I gotta tell you, I'm not really in a spot where I think this build should be investing in the future. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take HP regen. Flat range. Good. Not bad. Not a, not a bad start at all. Not a bad start at all. I think that this is actually... Is it as exciting as going as the Ranger? No, but I don't think that the crit angle ha has any impact, really. Like, what do the crits do for us? It activates our ability to take Hunting Trophy, but I just... I've got to be honest. I'm kind of sick of Hunting Trophy. Like, it's... It, uh, I feel like uh, I'll, I'll take it on some day. Like, days where it's literally stupid to not take it, I'll take it. But obviously, I had to take it for the pacifist win. Like, the pacifist murder win, obviously. Had to, had to, had to. I'll do one reroll. Disappointed. I'll take some luck. I'll... Wait, no. Crit chance is irrelevant unless I take flat range uh, or flat crit damage, and I don't even think I want to take percent or percent crit damage. I don't think that'll really do anything. And again, five percent damage up. It's gonna be a long time before that matters. This was a fail roll, really. I don't love taking minus luck. I don't like being at minus luck. That is stinky, for sure. But. We can take that percentage, like the same reason that it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of percentage damage downs to reduce or to increase our damage. It takes a lot, a lot of percentage downs to uh, reduce it. I, I feel like I just said the same thing twice, but you know what I mean, right? It goes both ways. Percentage damage is not going to make much of a big impact if I take a minus five or something like that. Who really cares? Oh, boy. So I'm going to go for the, uh, the small magazine. Seems solid. Solid angle to take. That plus lots of flat damage. We'll go a long way with a weapon that is not really supposed to do good damage. Which you could kind of argue is sort of the foundation for the SMG as well. Which is weird because it's the item is broken. So like, in a way... We're kind of just doing that. Oh, do I take Ugly Tooth? No! I, I want, I mean, probably should. Probably should have locked for it, but I feel like I've been taking that a lot recently. I just want more wands, though, so I don't want to, I don't want to lock for it, because 
I need six ones ASA pronto. Okay. Or piercing. Again, I know that piercing is not going to be incredible, incredible. Because we do have to actually worry about the damage percentage downgrade that we will take. Like, you, you get 50% less damage. Oh my god! What the hell was that second wave up there? God, I need, I do need the piercing, though. If for nothing else than the knockback, you know? It'll, it'll make a big difference. Oh, well, 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 well. That was the, I feel like that was the only path on the entire map I could have taken. God, I need attack speed. I need more wands. I need more everything. I need more survivability. I need more damage. I need more hope. I need more luck. I need more love. I need more tension. Uh... Man. Not what I was hoping for. Oh, God. I don't want attack speed downgrade when I don't have another wand yet, dude. What is up with this? Wait, what the heck? This is really unlucky. Four wands, wave six. Tunneling? That's really unlucky. Like, if I had six wands, I actually think that this would be solid. But you play him. Leave the HP. Oh my god. This is... I didn't want to take it, but I had to, do I had to do that dodge. Yeah. I needed, I needed six ones by now to... Have a powerful run, for sure. Like... We're surviving, but a reminder that, you know, you can technically survive a run as the pacifist after selling all your weapons. Which is honestly kind of a fun strat. Oh! But this is not really, like, we're, it's not really working, because I'm not getting good kills, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Wow me. I'm going to take that attack speed. Please, another one. Thank you. Like, I think it might be too late for it to really matter. What's my crit chance? I don't think I have any. I don't have any. Uh, okay. Coffee's worth walking for. If I get, like, one piercing, though, I know that the damage penalty will be pretty noticeable, but the knockback will also be really noticeable. Eesh. Yeesh! Yeesh! Ba -da -da -ba -da -da. Oh my god. The sh movement. Oh, the sh movement. I'm having to try way too hard. Any piercing would be a miracle. I mean, the attack speed is going to be really, really nice. I can't deny. Oh. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, no. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Oh, there's eyes surgery. Oof. 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 I don't think I even lock for Hedgehog. It's too expensive for what it is, considering it also gives us a penalty. Really bad shop. Our, our shop luck on this run is, is stinky, which makes me think that there is definitely an angle where this build can work, though. Like, considering I'm alive on Wave 8 with this strategy, with the luck I've had in the shop... Makes me think that that kind of like the knockback aspect, you could turn this into like a makeshift, not as strong, but a little bit safer kind of SMG run in a weird way, which is something I was not expecting to say today about six ones while focusing on damage, raw, like range damage. Oops, that was not. Oh. Oh boy. God, not good. Not good. Four, three, 
two, one. I'm just not getting any money though. Like that's the thing. I just I can't get the money in the middle. I, who cares? Oof. I just at this point, yeah. Piercing. Ricochet. I'm so sad that I'm going to die before I can take it. Also, I don't know that I'll get enough money for it, but the uh, the attack speed upgrades there, pretty spicy. Obviously, these guys die really, really quickly, though, so it's not really a good testament to how good this build is because they died to, probably to, like, five damage, so fast-firing builds are kind of made for Wave 9. That being said, maybe it's a sign that we could possibly make it to the next wave, get um, get Ricochet, and that's not good. And die there. Die there instead. Nope. <laughs> I had the tunnel for, I had the tunnel for the uh, the HP. Yeah, I don't know. Can it work? Mm, probably. Can you give it one more try? One more, one more solid effort. I'm gonna pause and go to the shop. Well, actually, I guess I have the wand already. There's no more point to. That was I was doing that on the other run because I might not get a wand. Hence, what's the point of the the wand build? But I yeah, this can uh, this can work. I actually think. Out of that HP regen, I guess. Okay. Obviously, Ugly Tooth is... Uh, ugly Tooth is good. Like, should I have taken it last time? I mean, I didn't have the money for it. I would have had the lock for it, and that just seems stupid. Not stupid, just like... I don't know. I've used it a lot. I've like... I've kind of leaned on it a lot. With a lot of builds like this. Which are... Which is to say... Uh, bad builds. <laughs> you know, like... Bad builds that have a chance to pop off if the stars align. Ugly Tooth is incredible because it means that you can keep them away from you, which is never a good sign. If you've, if you've kind of relegated yourself to just keeping enemies away from you, you are, you are gonna need to switch up that build, maybe. So wait, is it when instances of damage? Hitting an enemy. Does that count the fire proc? It might. I mean, I have no range damage up right now. This is just scaling off of, uh, or, or surviving based off of base fire damage, which is, who cares? Who cares? It's not that good. It's not that good. I don't know. Give me a little piercing. If I would have lived for the ricochet, like, ricochet would have showed up like any bit earlier. Would be nice. Man, I... Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. We have four wands, wave four, though. Like, it's... We've had worse. But on that other run that we had worse, we also had ranged weapons to go with it. But we're also not taking any attack speed or anything. But we, what we make up for in lack of um, kill power, we at least have some survivability to help us out. I think we got a little bit of armor. We got some move speed. We got um, ugly tooth. Like a bunch of things that all help us not literally die. So we maybe get a, we get more chances to be lucky. But dang, man. Like some damage would be cool. I'm trying to abuse the survivability that I do have to at least get all of the money. Like, that that's the least it can do. Dude, this is garbage. This is... All right. <laughs> okay. One more for the road, and then we're done. Like, this... I don't know what to tell you. That those the shops that we're getting for this attempt, uh, the, attempting this style of run is just 
unbelievably bad. It's almost like because we have the one, it's maybe it's like passively giving us more elemental weapons or something. I don't know. That might that might not be true. I don't know if that's anything. Good. So much better start. Oh my god, it's the run, boys. It's the run, girls. It's it. We're gonna do it. Obviously, this is probably not gonna be the run, but hey, you know, we get enough attack speed, we get enough flat uh, flat range damage. Anything's possible. We get piercing, piercing, flat damage. Hell, maybe maybe a ricochet on top of it too. Like just you know this, you know the drill. Like literally anything you want on a standard OP. What here? What items do we want? We want coffee. Or, or there's a blue item. There's a couple blue items we want too. That's fine, I guess. Ooh. Ooh, six wants. Okay, there's a chance. There's a chance. I mean, kind of. Not really. But, like, it's a good start. Like, we're going to have all six weapons, but we don't really have any of the flat range damage to go with it. We could hyper roll for range damage, I guess. We could also... I don't know. I think taking the penalty to the luck is silly. Because we're not going to get super lucky and get an epic flat range damage up or something where we're gonna suddenly quadruple our damage output which would be so nice obviously but man just having just having all the ones oh so nice wow me I'm gonna scream attack speed's fine Small magazine. Small magazine is actually what we want. That's that's our ideal weapon. Small magazine is by far the best thing that we could possibly get for making this run work. The good news is we're probably going to live this way because um, base Brotato Boy, the, the baseline Brotato Boy does have 15 health, which is really, really, really nice. It means he's 50% he's more survivable than... I would consider what is the baseline health. And I think the game would consider baseline health because he gets plus five. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, alas. I think that we, we've got a shot this one. If the stars continue to align in the same way that six wands in the shop, you know, if, if it's on that caliber, six wands by wave five caliber, yeah, this could be something. Attack speed? That's really good. Obviously, that's our entire sh shop, but I I'll be honest. If that was our entire shop every single turn, maybe we could win. Maybe. Obviously, some piercing would go a long way. <laughs> oh, boy. It's doing something. It's doing something. Oh, but boy, yeah, uh, boy, do I have to try a lot harder. That that really is the thing. It's like, why do it though? I mean, the only reason to do it is for kicks and wiggles, just to just to see if you can. Oh boy! God, I hate when the clump of the fast-moving ones spawn off camera and are already running towards you when you move up towards them there. Really annoying. Really annoying. I don't think I can. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. I don't have crits. Kill tank to the alien. Let me... I, I'm gonna. Here's the thing. I don't. Do I even care? I guess I do because it is a 
pretty substantial attack speed upgrade. But like, that's not... <laughs> you're gonna think I'm crazy. I don't like, that's not nearly as good as a lot of other things. This would be better if we were going for a fire build, but we're not really going for a fire build. I, like, I'm going to probably die this wave. So I, like, have to just, great, Fant fantastic. I am so, <laughs> so sick of the shop today. Uh, I guess I locked this for mutation and the one. Uh, oh, boy. Like, I would have had to lock for it, and I'm going to, like... The amount of increase I get for improving my wants is actually kind of small. Like, it's it's almost not even really worth doing. Like, it's a little bit of an attack speed upgrade. It's fine. It's nice. It's cool. It's whatever. But I'm just not lucking out with um, the stats we're looking for. I need piercing flat range. Oops, that was just... I just stood still and let that happen to me, basically. Mm. Okay, good. We can actually make it back. Circle back to that HP. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, no. Dead. 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 No way. No way he lived that. No way he lived that. He's a god. I mean, he... coffee's great. Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. There's a little something something. It's fine. Do we live? I don't think so, but that's obviously a big, 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 big upgrade. Not big enough to make it so the wave is going to be easy, but in fact... I don't know. Uh, what's wave eight? Is wave eight big boys? The first wave of the big boys, I think. I think it might be. Well. Well, part two. Oh my god. This is, I just. Oh, this is. Definitely like one of the builds where I've had to try the hardest for the longest. It really is like the knockback helps a lot. Oh my god, it took a bullet. Did not need to take that bullet. Oh, I just can't get. Uh, ooh, so I can't get the money I need. I'm gonna skip that. And a, a, a boy can dream. I don't know. I don't know if that's really worth taking, but I'm gonna do it. Okay. A boy can dream. If we can beat wave 8, we can probably beat wave 9. That's the good news. Probably. Literally any piercing would be fantastic. It's just such an important stat that it feels kind of wrong that only one item in the game has it. You know? It's such, such an important stat. And there's even another item in the game that gives you damage on your piercing shots. But, like, you might not even have piercing shots. I don't know if I... I don't know if I got this or not. Like, I'm missing out on, like, all of the money. Obviously. Like, I... <laughs> what, do you, what do you want me to do? Go in there and die? So that I have the money on my corpse? Cool. Like, just go in there and pick up the money! I'm doing what I can. Like, I'm picking up as much money as I can without dying. Uh, the speed is a possi possibility, but... All right. Whatever. Ugly tooth. Yep. I mean, okay. Money Where My Mouth is on Wave 9. I, I only said it because it's a wave that prominently features these guys, but it might feature too many because we don't have piercing. I was kind of thinking we would have... Yeah, yeah, great. 
was kind of thinking we would have one piercing by now. It also features the dodging guys. The guys that do the little dash attack. And they are rough. Oh, it also features the big boys. Never mind. This is just... This is not... There's a lot more going on in this wave than I thought. Maybe I can beat it, but... We don't like as... Oh, that was beautiful. We don't hard counter it. We hard counter a big chunk of it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. He did it. He's alive. Wave nine. Nine max HP. Honestly, is an epic. You don't look that in the mouth. We got piercing. Boys and girls. Is there a chance? I don't know. Piercing will make a world of difference. Like, for knockback purposes, it'll make a world of difference. For damage purposes, it'll make a decent chunk of a difference too, but the knockback is where it's at. Like, I'll be able to run through groups a little bit cleaner. Oh boy. I'm, I'm happy to, uh, I'm happy to die now. Like, you know, if it happens, it happens at this point. I just wanted, I wanted a run that was kind of, uh, that I could say in good faith was a fairly solid effort. And I think it's showing the, mm, the weird strengths of the wands. Okay. It, it, like, it's a good weapon for just, like, kind of getting... Kind of, uh, for, like, getting around enemies, you know? For just sort of, like, sc scooting through? I think I'll take that. If I make it. These guys, I mean... Again, it'd be... The knockback is the reason that we can possibly maybe, 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 maybe keep ourselves alive. They are fast as hell, though. That being said, it's kind of working. Oh. Oh. Oh, they do so much damage when they hit. I, yeah. No, obviously. Um, could this work? Yes. Actually, yes. What do you need? More small magazines than I got. <laughs> that's just, that's the truth. More small magazines than I got. And uh, a couple more bandanas, probably. And then, yeah, I actually, I literally, I actually think you do, you do have a chance. I believe it or not. I thought that I was going to go in and I was going to die. And I was going to be like, yeah, there's no freaking way. We made it to wave 11 with Gatling gun wands. <laughs> Anything is possible. Uh, but alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it for today. If you have any build suggestions, comment it down below in the comments section. If you don't have one off the top of your head, go down there and please like every one that seems interesting to you that you would enjoy to see a video out of. Thank you, thank you. Check the channel for Roblox more every single day. I will be playing Brotato as long as you guys continue to support it. And I will see you next time. Bye.